Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, we're going to install a transom saver on the Polar Craft. Now, with these aluminum boats, and uh, four-stroke motors being heavier than two-stroke motors. You don't want to trailer this uh, boat with that heavy weight bouncing around when you go over the nasty roads that aren't real smooth, right? Uh, so we want to attach a transom saver, and what that does is it allows the motor to rest on a peg that is hooked to the trailer, and that takes the weight off of the transom and distributes it to the post that goes down to the trailer. And that prevents your transom from being weakened from flexing all the time. So that's what we plan on doing today. Here is the transom saver. This is by Atwood. They're under $50, you can get them as low as 30. So let's check it out and see what we got. So it comes with a strap. Now this would go, you know, around the motor and hold the motor in here and keep the motor from bouncing in and out. So this is the part that the motor rests in. Then we have this pole which is adjustable and then if you look here you see we have this round piece and that's some of the older trailers that have a round uh, tubing instead of square. Uh, so that's what that's for. Now I don't need that piece. I'm going to use this piece uh, which will uh, bolt right into my frame and then attach that piece to here. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, and if you have a trailer like this that has a square aluminum framing, you wanna look down below. Let me get down here and show you. Some of you uh, might not have a hole here in the trailer. You'll have to drill this yourself. So whatever uh, transom saver you purchase, you'll just look and it'll tell you, you know, what size hole you need to drill to, to install it this way if you have a square frame trailer. But I already have this hole drilled, so this will be easy to install. And this nut takes a 7 16 wrench, so we'll need that. And the way I'm going to install this is this bolt has a square piece there to keep it from spinning and it'll kind of go in flush into that spot. I'm going to put that through there like that and through the hole. So that's how it's going to be on there and then the the transom saver has a clip that we'll use to keep it on. Here's the clip. This clip will go through here when you put the transom saver on there so you can take it off when you put the boat in the water. And then on the other side, we'll put the nut right there and tighten that up. Now let's see how we do here. It's finally getting a little warmer up here in Pennsylvania. It's been chilly. Now these have the, the uh, plastic non-slip washer in there uh, so I don't have to use uh, lock washers that will not come off of there and hold in place but at the beginning of every season I check everything anyway just to make sure that it's good I could have used my ratchet set and made this a lot easier on me but I did not feel like getting it out Okay, that's on there nice and tight. So the next step is to attach the bottom piece and uh, put the motor down and see, you know, where we need to set the adjustment. So we're gonna attach the bottom piece first and then we'll do the adjustment piece. I'm gonna take this apart. 
this. Now this, this also has one of those wax wa uh, plastic washers on there, or a plastic locking nut. So we're going to use that once we see where on here we're going to set the length. But for this piece, we want to use the clip. And as I mentioned earlier, we want to use that clip because when we go to the boat ramp and and take the boat off the trailer. We don't want this thing, you know, dragging all the way to where we're gonna park the trailer. So uh, that's why we use a clip in here so we can easily remove it when we're at the ramp. So that goes on like that. And now we're ready to figure out the adjustment. So you want to make sure when you put this on that it does line up with these holes so you can make the adjustment and we'll use this screw to do that so let's set the motor up. okay so we got that clip on and now we're going to adjust this piece to where it belongs and then we'll put this through make sure it works so i'm going to release the motor and I can slide this in and out. And when I drop this motor, then I can put it in here. So this is where it's gonna fit. And I wanna make sure I see which hole it's in. So I could trailer it like that, or I could trailer it like that. Either one will work, probably Put it in there. I put it probably in the second latch. So we're gonna try that. And like I said, these four, these four-stroke motors, you know, they're much heavier than um, their predecessors, the two-strokes. But I'm gonna go in this one because I don't think I need uh, a lot of of room when I'm trailering and I'm not going over really heavy stuff so we can do this and before I tighten it I want to move this up to the first click the right there to see if that's going to be about right and it looks like that's going to be pretty good I could put it on there. Or that's more like it. Right there looks good. So we know we're at a good spot. So here you can see it really this is a good spot. There's no way that's going to hit the ground. So I'm going to bolt that down. Then we'll put the strap around the motor. I'm going to hold it. And we just tighten this down. You don't have to really crush this because it does have that plastic built-in lock washer. Okay, so that's all in place. Everything looks good there. Now just put the strap on the motor. Well, they just give you one of these rubber cords that comes with it. If you want to use uh, more of a spongy cord, you can get a spongy cord. And you can look in here, you can see there's a hole right there where that goes through. And then on the other side. So we put the strap on here. And then we're going to bring it around and put the strap on this side. Okay. You really got to stretch this. <laughs> and there goes the boat down the driveway. This is just a plastic wheel chuck. So that's not the good one. The good ones are in the camper. Alright, so that is how easy it is 
to install the transom saver on the boat and so definitely on aluminum boats uh, to protect your investment and save that transom you'll want to put a transom saver on for 30 to 50 dollars it's a great insurance policy so this motor is a lot heavier it's an eight horse but it's a twin it has a generator to charge the battery and it is a four stroke so I definitely want to use a transom saver so that I don't put any undue pressure on the transom. Now this boat is a 2014. This motor is a 2019. This boat um, really was built after four strokes have come into play, but it, it's still, for me, it's worth it to do everything you can to protect your investment. So that's it. I think the next uh, project will be just to start the motor up and see. Maybe I'll put that on here so you can see it. First, we'll pump the fuel in there. And turn it to start. Make sure she's in neutral. Pull the choke out. check is to make sure it's pumping water and that's what we see right here so she's pumping water enjoyed this video and it helped you consider subscribing to the channel it's free helps me out a lot also ring that bell you'll be notified every time I put up a new video and give the video a thumbs up that helps too but more important than all that go have some fun out there thanks for watching